What's up guys? Today I was thinking about CBD Hemp Library and I was thinking about being a weed tuber and I was thinking about making YouTube videos surrounding uh, smoking weed, smoking CBD, smoking Delta 8 THC and some of the challenges that come along with that. And one of the main challenges I was really thinking about was staying productive while smoking weed. Bradley. Of course, there's sativas, indicas, hybrids, hybrids, leaning sativa, hybrids, leaning indica, but everybody needs, even past that, or everybody, yeah, really needs, if they're a smoker, different strains that satisfy them, even for different time periods, you know? Like, and it's not always along the sativa indica lines. Um, somebody came in the comments the other day and they're like, it's really weird how sativa makes you anxious. Indica makes me really anxious. The couch lock feel is what makes me anxious, but the sativa makes me like super, like it brings me up in energy. And I was just thinking like, for Sergio and, and I, like that sativa is what causes the anxiety because of like racing thoughts, things like that. For example, we do have a new um, legally lifted Delta 8 THC strain. It's called Pecan Pie. I put the top part of this as Pecan Pie because like probably up to here because Pecan Pie is like a hybrid sativa leaning. And for me, I'll get anxious. In the morning, I might have a lot of energy already and I'll get anxious smoking too much sativa. So what I'll do is, I'll like I said, I'll put the top like that hybrid sativa and the rest of this is an indica purple punch strain, a normal THC strain that I have. So I like that mix of the, the CBD, the Delta 8 and the THC, or the Delta 9 THC, sorry. But I also like the mix of um, having that hybrid sativa at the beginning and then getting to kind of balance that out with the hybrid on the back end of the J, you know? Cause a lot of the times the way I roll the joint is, um, I roll the J but then pack it so that like anybody else, there's a little bit left at the end. So I stuffed it at the end with the hybrid sativa. But any smoker that's also interested in self-development and making themselves better, um, in my opinion, something they should be thinking about is how to stay productive while smoking. Because um, certain strains, for me, make me unproductive. And it's not really an indica sativa thing. It's more of a strain thing. And the only way I can think of really getting that out of the way is really a few ways. One is... Once I find that strain that works for me, buy in bulk. Going and buying, if you're a daily smoker, going and buying an amount that'll last you a while, that will allow you to smoke a sh the same consistent strain in the exact same way, I don't know, like cigarette smokers or jewel smokers or vape smokers have their um, brand they go to, the flavor they go to, things like that. It can be the and drinkers have the same thing. Like a lot of people have been drinking um, Coors Light just regular Coors Light or regular Bush or Bush Light. I know those are lower level beers typically, but I know a lot of people just drink the same beer is my point, or the same drink, the same um, rum and Coke, the same whiskey sour every single time they go out. It's the same way for weed, like or the same way for Delta 8, the same way for CBD. Um, Cause when in all those categories, I found things that I like and things that I don't really like and things that fit with my body and fit with my energy level and fit with my temperament and don't fit with some of those things as well. So um, as I edit these videos and I smoke and stuff like that, like figuring out ways that I can make sure that I stay productive, that I can make sure that I keep um, getting better at what I do, getting better at my craft. Um, and if I still wanna smoke, being able to balance those things, you know? Cause you know, we smoke on camera. Like right now I'm smoking on camera. So if I smoke and have this session on camera, a lot of times I'll like to roll up if I edit. 
So now we're talking about, am I wasting too much? Am I smoking too much? What's happening? You know, like, because I'll smoke during this episode, smoke with you guys, uh, maybe describe the strain a little bit for you guys, do that type of stuff, or just have a conversation. Um, but will I be able to stay productive if I smoke off camera? If I smoke this whole thing on camera, will I be able to stay productive? If I smoked before class, would I, was I able to stay productive? When I smoked before the wedding the other day, could I stay focused and at least do what I was supposed to do in the wedding? Like... Um, if I have to help Nicole with something, can I smoke and still be productive? Can I drive after I smoke? Like, these are all questions that consistent smokers, if you want to know yourself and if you want to be realistic, you should be thinking about. Because weed, it does, we Delta 8, specifically those two things will impact you in some type of way. Some type of way, positively, negatively, some things positive, some things negative, a mixture of both, drawbacks, but it could be the uh, better, like the, the smell or something like that could be a drawback for you, but the sleep could be an upside, you know? Um, the, job, the job drug test could be a downside, but you had knee surgery and your knees all fucked up and you need to fix it, it could be the upside. So there's drawbacks and upsides and, and pros and cons on both sides, but I think it's an important conversation for you to have within yourself, um, whether your smoking is positively or negatively impacting your life, and when you're smoking, is it positively and negatively impacting your life? Should you just be smoking at 10 p.m. after the kids are tucked in bed, you've worked, you've cooked them dinner, cooked yourself dinner, and read some? Should I always? Ask, I'm always asking myself, should I be waking bacon right now? Currently, what time is it? 1002, I set up for this episode, so. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, but I did recently wake up. <coughs> and that's a question. <coughs> Today's Sunday. Should I get up and smoke? I know I need to work on the website. I know I'm going to have to. I mean, obviously, it's a catch 22 because I have to edit this video, but. Um, should I? I need to work on the website. Um, there might be some errands I want to want to run. I need to take back the rental car. I need to do all these different things today. And is this going to stop me from being productive? Even if it's just going to stop me from being productive in the morning. Am I not going to be able to produce good content again until 2 p.m.? Am I not going to be able to um, get the errands done until 1 or 2 now? What is my productivity going to look like this morning, this afternoon, and this evening if I'm smoking? Or if I eat some edibles, or if I have a tincture under my tongue, or if I um, vape a little bit, whatever I'm going to do, will I be able to do what I need to do while smoking? So that's why the name of today's video is Staying Productive While Smoking, because as I kind of talked about in that um, creativity episode I did. A lot of creativity, even for us artists, is about staying focused and being able to focus on your craft, being able to focus on what you're doing. And as you focus and as you learn more, I believe your creativity expands. You know, your knowledge, as your knowledge expands about your craft, about your subject, you're also able to be more creative in that space as you move more confidently forward in that space. So a lot of these things take focus. And for your life, for my life, for anybody's life, is weed and focus, can they happen together? And for some people, that's not possible. And some people haven't tried the strain that has made that possible also. Um, for us in the legal states, we're starting to get names. We're starting to get things like that. But at the end of the day, it's still a shot in the dark. Unless you know the person who shifted to you from... I'm a legal state, you know, and they shipped it to your home. Um, there is, and they sent you the receipt. <laughs> there are very few ways to really cross-reference and cross-check to make sure that the strain and the effects on the packaging are consistent and even consistent for you. That's the thing. Like, you could go um, to California, to Colorado, Oregon, uh, Washington, D.C., all these places and smoke a strain that says indica, relaxed, creativity, and it makes you anxious and uh, dumber, or feel dumber at least, you know, less creative, if you will. That is a possibility because this is an unperfect plant in the exact same way. Um, Vicodin could be a painkiller for some people, but make people violently ill that actually causes them more pain. 
you know, like those type of things are possible or, or any type of medication that your doctor, I mean, they always have that, um, what is it? If you take this medication, please be prepared to die. If you don't die, you might vomit. If you don't vomit, you might bleed out your ass. If you don't bleed out your ass, then the medication might work. You know, they'll hit you with that hoe at the, at the end of the medication commercial. And because of that, um, you're not gonna take that medication to heal yourself. <coughs> Me personally, I probably won't, but like, I'm just asking, like, would you take that medication to heal yourself or your doctor prescribed medication because of some of the potential side effects? Like, weed is like that, in my opinion. Weed has all these different strains and for, like, a, a hearth of different reasons. <coughs> and it's kind of up to us to figure out what's right for us, especially at this time um, with the mixed genetics, with all the hybrid genetics, um, no pure genetics available to us, really, to really know whether like high indica sativa like whether indica sativa type plants would be perfect for you if they were pure high if they were like pure um clones but there really aren't so um it's kind of up to us with the hundreds of strains out there if we do want to smoke it if we do want to eat edibles if we do i want to take t take tinctures um to kind of do the research ourselves and that can be scary sometimes because no one likes being anxious. Even the first time I was smoking some of our um, pecan pie or smoking some of even some other Delta 8 flowers that really run like sativas or even some just normal weed strains, some hazes and stuff like that and some citrusy sativas that had my heart racing so much but now I know like those aren't for me. You know, I made a whole video about why I don't really smoke sativas at all categorically. The other day, um, before the wedding, I was offered some sativa. I hit it a little bit. I mean, I felt good, but that's another thing. That's another thing, actually. I forgot to bring up, sorry. A lot of this stuff, in my opinion, people ask me, how can that indica strain feel like a sativa? And I explained this to somebody, and they actually understood it the other day. A lot of times, a strain will act as an indica for me until I get too high. So like I'll be smoking and I'll be relaxing and feeling good, but once I get to the point where I should have stopped, like even if it was halfway through the J, like I'm not a prideful person. I've had some strains where I'm just like, I gotta put this shit down. You know, like right now at least. I'll pick it back up later. I'm not throwing it away, but I'm gonna have to save it for later. Or even sessions to where there's multiple bit in rotation, I'm starting to get too lit, you know? Because us smokers, we know we have a tendency to just sit there. You know, we'll sit there, have a session, roll up two, three, not even realizing it, just lost in conversation, lost in um, the vibes, if you will, lost in the energy in the room, just not even realizing that we're continuing to smoke. And then you look up and you're four in, you know, at a two with two people, three people. It's happened to me at least. And you just don't understand why it feels like a sativa. And I feel like it's because you just got too high for the moment. And it can be subjective. That's why all these things are personal experimentation to me. Even with all the research that they're going to do with cannabis over this next 50 to 100 years, I really think that it will always be up to the person as well like with any other type of medication to know what's right for them. Because there are some medications, even if a doctor prescribes it to you, that will do terrible things to your body to you personally because there are certain, maybe a reason or way you eat or whatever that another person then wouldn't do it to. Um, so I think marijuana is the exact same way. And, and I think when it comes to keeping yourself safe, keeping yourself happy, um, it's important to do kind of like that due diligence just to know. And then when you do find that good strain, maybe invest in yourself and, and buy more than you usually would. Um, if you're in a legal state like me, a lot of times those strains just go away soon, especially if they're really nice strains. Um, so with that being said, go buy it now. If you're gonna, especially if you're gonna buy weed anyway, if you're gonna buy weed, if you're gonna buy Delta 8, just buy it in bulk now to save money and then it'll last you longer, hopefully. And you have to have discipline to not uh, smoke more because you have more. I've done that too. But guys, 
this whole video is really just about me trying to yeah just trying to stay productive I like smoking I like productivity and I like talking about productivity I like talking about ways in which other people stay productive so please um, comment below how you guys stay productive. Yeah, comment below how you guys stay productive. And also, um, I did this a few episodes ago. I'll do it every now and then. If anybody's interested, if you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to kind of thank people that made it or that watch the full thing, really. Um... Today I'll send you a, a free couple grams of the pecan pie. Yeah, if you're interested, uh, we have that new Delta ATC flour pecan pie. Um, if you made it this far in the video, I'll send you a free a free um, couple grams. Sorry. <coughs> as long as you're 21, and I'll make sure in the in the DM. So DM me at who is Gpat if you're interested. But guys. I hope you stay productive. I hope you smoke some stuff you enjoy. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and a very productive and fun and blessed week, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in for another episode of GP's Free Game. Um, hopefully, CB Hemp Library will be back, but if not, um, we'll continue to put out content here. I'm at Legally Lifted, 3CHL. And Delta ATHC Library. So, and then across Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn at CBD Hemp Library. So, guys, we're trying. We're gonna try to keep making content. We're gonna try to keep. Game deep on the couch today. Didn't feel like sitting in the chair. Just wanted to chill on the couch. See you guys next time. Oh.